So good morning and a happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Startup Health is a global health innovation company. We are based in New York and uh, we are dedicated our lives and organization, everybody in it for transforming health. Uh, we do that through moonshots, which bring together committed actors with shared mindset. In the core of it are entrepreneurs who have always changed the industries. So any industry in the world is always changed by entrepreneurs. Other actors which are necessities are the large corporations, our partners, then hospitals, clinicians, innovators and investors. So our role is to organize and support and invest to global healthcare transformer army, the massive crowd of entrepreneurs and actors supporting them and provide healthcare to everyone in this planet. So the challenge is quite remarkable. If we look at them, this picture, the y-axis, life expectancy, and then x-axis, the costs of healthcare per capita. Uh, if you look at emerging economies here, at the, like pale blue, the problems are pretty much different that we have. The access to basic care, even nutrition, water, shelter, and the conditions are totally different that we have here in the Western world. Then when we look at the dark blue dots, developed countries, the costs are going out of hand. The US is a league of their own. In value-based care, they are now number 27. But the costs are three times that what we have, for example, here in Finland. We are the best in the world in value-based care. And our job in this movement is to put everybody into ideal bath. So, need is there. It varies depending where we are. And now the momentum. All conditions, all conditions are aligned for health transformation. Why? That need, of course. Then, healthcare reform. Basically, all countries in the world are looking how to provide health, health and improve health and provide health care for their citizens. There are many things also business-wise, because when you change the regulation, uh, uh, you can, for example, give better access to data, better access to test your solutions. You can push company, uh, let's say, you can push the service providers to buy new innovative solutions. So many of the regulatory issues. And then the digital health bit, data and technology. It's all about data, you know, because ins insights come from data. And uh, now there are huge amount of data because we start to understand how to combine that data. And there are increased capabilities for that, like computer power, then artificial intelligence, Soon blockchain will be implemented with the smart contracts, ID, and so on. And these bring huge momentum. And then there is golden age of entrepreneurship. No point of time has there been so much money than now available. So talent, wisdom, money, they move, they go there where they can bring the best value. And this is happening all over the world, globally. This picture basically is a creative uh, destruction life cycle, and uh, we will increase the cycle of it. So we have these entrepreneurs, healthcare entrepreneurs. We have screened thousands of companies globally. We have done due diligence for thousands and selected 200 plus companies at the moment in our portfolio. It's the biggest startup portfolio in digital health in the world. The size of the companies vary from 10 million over a billion euros. And status industry partners we have, those are the best ones who try for innovation. So they provide channel for the scale-up.
being a customer as a co-development partners. And we put also huge, huge, with huge investor network money into this wheel to make it fast. I have to say that uh, at the moment there is only one industry which is below healthcare in uh, digitalization. It's agriculture. We are behind e-governance. Think about that. And our big moonshot we have is that uh, uh, we improve health globally for everybody. And how we do that is by doing the uh, progress in 20 years, which is not even imaginable to be done in 100 years. And we divide that to 10 moonshots, where we align all of these partners and communities behind us, like man to the moon strategy. So, first to access to care and cause to zero. Um, if we combine telemedicine with artificial intelligence, this um, smart digital persons who can advise people, like Babylon Health, for example, it can serve 50 million persons at the same time and doesn't make mistakes. Then cure diseases and cancer moonshot. Those cancer moonshot is kind of inside of the cure diseases. You always need holistic approach and combine all knowledge, data, technologies and actors to solve these problems. Because healthcare is the most siloed industry. Then women's health, children's health and nutrition. When we are little, little ones, basically from that moment we are born, the data that when we are early adulthood, we learn how to live. That's why we should put all our efforts, those years when we impact people's lives most. Especially in emerging economies, these three are the core, together with the education, it's part of it, shelter, food, where impact can be done. Then, brain health and mental health. If we take, take a look, just like our lives, what we are living, a huge change. Everything's going to change in the next couple of years. So much stress, work, overwhelming data, and everywhere we believe it, which ever part of our lives. First comes stress then anxiety, then depression, then loneliness. It's the biggest business, basically, in the world in the next coming years. And the final one is longevity. Like, it's a kind of sum, sums up all of this. So, how we work is that we bring all stakeholders, entrepreneurs, industry players, hospitals, innovators, investors, to moonshots ways simply two measures. Significantly lower costs and improved impact. Companies um, in our portfolio and the partners have a holistic view. So we have companies who are media companies in prevention, diagnostics, therapy, rehabilitation, marketplace, transportation, everything. We tackle the health challenge from every single aspect there is with best technologies and best talent. So um, currently we have um, is 216 companies in portfolio, 440 entrepreneurs, many of these serial entrepreneurs who have done it already many times. Multidisciplinary teams. There's one of our guys, which is super, superb guy, Kalle Palomäki from Finland. And when you get accepted to Startup Health portfolio, you get the lifelong support. So we are not any type of accelerator. It's a lifetime support where we calibrate companies every three months. And basically, when we have this valuable army of health transformations, 
what we provide is coaching of peer groups. The coaching starts to bring pretty much power when there are serial entrepreneurs from Israel, East Coast, West Coast, Korea, and they share all the insights what they have. Then we have this community formed by, by these guys and our partners, shared data sets, then connections to investors, customers, and partners. Huge network. Credibility means that we have a media. Our chairman of the board is Jerry Lewin. He knows something about media. He was a president and CEO of Time Warner for 15 years. And we have a strong media team. And that's how we amplify the stories of the startups. We have to make visible everything what we do to gather more of those who believe to our army. And then capital. So loads of investors in a network, best VCs in the world, corporate venture capitals, plus our own funds. And uh, here you see how the companies are divided for these groups. So we have most companies in access to care, cost is zero, and then cure diseases. I just give two examples. Hardcore companies, hardcore companies. Human Longevity Inc. was founded by my idol, who's um, Dr. Craig Venter, who started like when we were doing our DNA stuff and cloning in the labs like early 90s, uh, there came a guy to the field mid-90s and said that I can solve the mystery of genome faster than the entire scientific community. And he was the first one who solved the human's genome 1999 and beat the entire academic world. It cost at that time 150 million to do that. Nowadays, in HLI, Human Longevity Inc., they have the world's largest sequencing facility. Every 14 minutes comes the new genome. Then, Finnish company, we see loads of potential. It's a nightingale. Uh, they can measure from one single blood sample. Temo was, by the way, speaking here yesterday, yes. And um, one, one single blood sample, like 200 biomarkers. And with the smart algorithms, not only to improve significantly uh, precision medicine use for blood samples and impact of the blood samples, but most importantly, enable preventive care. And again, a lot more with a lot less costs. That's the care. And care links is marketplace for families, big industry players, and insurance companies. And it, it's our portfolio company, which was the last what, what was bought or acquired uh, uh, by the uh, reasonably big company, General Global Assistance. Then. You need partners. You don't want to be alone. Not in a Valentine's Day, but not in any other day. Because for an entrepreneur, it's a Christmas every day. Every day is an opportunity. So a few partners here. We have, a, if you look at insurance companies, Allianz and Ping An. Ping An is, by the way, a company from China, insurance company. 220 million values. Grows 30% per year. They are investing like a billion in the next couple of years for digital health startups only. Say massive investments from Allianz with the dedicated teams, and we love to work with them. Then from Pharma, Bayer, Genentech, device companies, GE, our long-term partner to uh, build in back together in different stages of uh, growth. And then some individuals, because entrepreneurs need support from the guys who have done it before. So Cherry, of course, they're our chairman. Nick Turkle, it's the, one of the best hospitals in the U.S. Mark Hube and Steve Case created the first internet company in the world. And Esther Dyson, she's the grand la old lady of the, of the digital health is in the board of um, 
and heavily associated to 23andMe and Under Armour and different, different um, fields of the digital health. Then we come to the most important thing. This helps us as a individuals, as a corporate workers, as uh, uh, entrepreneurs. In whichever role you look at, it's all about mindset. And mindset is needed, of course, that way because we are in this siloed, the most ineffective industry in the world. So we have to collect those who believe. So they are individual, entrepreneur level mindset, then for startup or your company, and then for partners to align the, with the partners with, with your goals. And um, long term commitment. If we are not committed, there's no use to do anything. Supportive relationships, rhythm, confidently ambitious, you will need to be self aware, know what we know, what we don't know, understand that there are loads of things we don't know, we don't know. Uh, healthy habits, value creation, and batteries included. Always provide energy to people, not and surround yourself with the people who, who believe in, with the, uh, who have the same goal and the uh, same passion for the things what you do. And I, what we do is every quarter with all persons associated, we take a look, they rate themselves like that. The levels are uncommitted, it's kind of a failure. If you're a company leader and you are on this side, you f will fail if you stay there for a more than two quarters. Frustrated, business as usual, and then something if you want to change something in your organization or scale startup. And if we take a look, um, take a look, take a look at like supportive relationships, uh, you don't rely on others, would rather do everything yourself, blah, blah, blah. That's like how many of us feel many days. Second one, you try to rely, rely on others but uh, spend too much time convincing or selling them what to do. I bet that many of you, if you are like leaders or directors of the unit, that's kind of feeling you have many times. No way you can do it if it's like that. So you have to be, you have to surround yourself and build the team around you always who are all dedicated and have that energy. So we check these, through these measures, how the entrepreneurs are doing and what help they need, and we link them together. So these were the mindsets for the uh, uh, entrepreneurs, and uh, these are for the big corporations. So for big corporations, we don't start to cooperate them if the CEO is not all in. Like from SAP, we have a McDermott who said that we will do magic together. So then it happens. It has to be there. There has to be a model for others, best in the field. They have to understand startup momentum and the value of outsource innovation. They have to celebrate wins with the entrepreneurs, create value, align capabilities, have a committed team in that company to work with the entrepreneurs and outsource innovation and capital. So, I have a one minute, 15 seconds, so I can share some, something extra. So, we publish every quarter like Startup Health Insights. It gives the, the kind of a view for where the money is going, what problems are solved. M there's a huge money flow to digital health. If we take a look like this past year, the second quarter alone was bigger than three years combined, few years back. So more and more money going to digital health. 11.5 billion. Money is going, luckily, for patient consumer experiences, because they will be the one who demand from the uh, doctors, stakeholders, new services, better services. Then East Coast, West Coast. 
Remarkable numbers. Remarkable numbers. These are the numbers globally. And to end with, take a look at that, our website, startuphealth.com. There are Startup Health magazine. There are loads of like high-level stories which open up the whole field of digital health. Then these reports you can check very easily also through website. And if you have opportunity, you can apply. We take sometimes guests to Startup Health Festival. This year there was over a thousand investors. Our portfolio companies, Joe Biden, works with us, he's there like regular now. Then uh, all the superstars in uh, investments, hospital leaders, big company CEOs, chief innovation officers globally, superstars from MBA, so on, from sports. That's about it. So what you have to remember is that you can't do anything in life if you don't believe what you do. And you can do it only with the persons who feel the same with you. And uh, yes, one planet, one life, people, purpose, love, and enjoy your days. Thank you.